Here's a problem that might seem like it needs a calculator at first glance, but there's actually an elegant way to compute this sum by hand, and it reveals some beautiful structure along the way. Now you could compute each term separately and add them up, but that's kind of a pain. Instead, let's see if we can find a pattern that makes things easier. Let's call this sum s. The key observation here is that every term is a multiple of 7. So we can factor out a 7 from everything. When we do that, we're left with this expression inside the parentheses. And this is where things get interesting. What we have here is a geometric sum. And there's a clever trick for evaluating these that doesn't require memorizing any formulas. Let me call this sum p. I'll write it in ascending order, starting from 1. Now, here's the trick. What happens if we multiply both sides of this equation by 7? When we multiply p by 7, each term on the right gets multiplied by 7, which shifts all the exponents up by 1. So 7 times p equals 7 plus 7 squared plus 7 cubed plus 7 to the fourth plus 7 to the fifth. Now let me write out p again right below this. Notice that most of the terms in these two expressions are the same. So what happens if we subtract p from 7p? All those middle terms will cancel, leaving us with something much simpler. When we do this subtraction, everything from 7 up through 7 to the 4th cancels out. All we're left with is 7 to the 5th from the top and negative 1 from the bottom. So 6p equals 7 to the 5th minus 1. Divide both sides by 6, and we get p equals the quantity 7 to the 5th minus 1 all over 6. All right. So now we need to actually compute 7 to the 5th. We can build this up step by step. 7 squared is 49. That one we probably know. For 7 cubed, we need to multiply 49 by 7. We can think of 49 as 50 minus 1 to make this easier. 50 times 7 is 350. Then subtract 7 to get 343. For 7 to the 4th, we multiply 343 by 7. We can break this into 300 plus 40 plus 3. That's 2,100 plus 280 plus 21, which adds up to 2,401. One more step. 7 to the 5th is 2,401 times 7. Let's think of this as 2,400 plus 1. 2,400 times 7 is 16,800. Then add 7 to get 16,807. Okay, now we can put all of this together to find S. Remember, S equals 7 times P, and P is the quantity 7 to the 5th minus 1 all over 6. We just found that 7 to the 5th is 16,807. So let's plug that in. So we need 7 times the quantity 16,807 minus 1 all over 6. That's 7 times 16,806 over 6. To divide 16,806 by 6, let's break it into pieces that are easier to work with. We can write this as 12,000 plus 4,800 plus 6 all over 6. 12,000 over 6 is 2,000. 4,800 over 6 is 800. 6 over 6 is 1. Add those up and we get 2,801. So S equals 7 times 2,801. Just one more multiplication to go. Let's break this into 2,000 plus 800 plus 1 and distribute the 7. 7 times 2,000 is 14,000, 7 times 800 is 5,600, and 7 times 1 is 7. Add those up and we get 19,607. And that's it. What looked like a tedious calculation turned into something pretty elegant once we found the right pattern. 
If you enjoyed this, consider liking and subscribing for more.